Here's my PA15. It's got a 20 inch freedom upper from PSA and uh, most of it's PSA and the, the rifle. Uh, I've been building it for a couple of years. Just kind of wanted the 20 inch like I had in the Marines. And uh, so PA lower. It's a Palmetto State lower parts kit and the stock and the upper. The only thing that's not PSA on this thing is the rear sight and uh, the bull carrier group. But uh, I think without the bull carrier group and the rear sight, I got 410 bucks into it, which for a 20 inch rifle, that's you know, it's pretty damn good. Uh, but some things that I like, some things I don't like, we'll go over. And uh, I just bought a, a Colt AR 15A4 that should be here tomorrow, so maybe I'll do a comparison video on them. But uh, the lower. You know, the lowers are always uh, really well made. Uh, a lot of people say they're from Aerotech, but uh, I don't know. I can't say for sure. Just check the forums. And, uh, you know, there are forging stamps on them, but whoever did the milling, you don't know. I think that's uh, from, that's a brass forging. And uh, it just has the bullet insignias on it. And it does have a... Uh, an indicator on the back which I don't see too much we used to just mark these with the uh, yellow paint but I think it's kind of cool the safety is really nice and easy to engage and disengage it's got the good detent in it on uh, a couple of my ARs it's a little stiff it'll go like to here if you don't really do your job well uh, the trigger on this thing sucks uh, it's it feels a little worse than mil spec. It's just got it's a wall and it's got creep going to going to the release and the comeback is smooth, but it's got a really heavy mechanical reset. But I mean it's not the greatest thing in the world, but I'm sure you could do fine with it. And uh the PSA it's got the cross uh, cross cannons in the back or for the insignia just a standard A2 grip and uh, sorry this is the only angle I can't have on my camera if you guys have any inside and better cameras with wider lenses let me know the upper like I said is a freedom upper uh, it does have the insignia it's a little worse done I think than the premium but it is T marked and it's it's a good it's a good upper standard a2 hand guards and then the barrel on this thing is a uh, 556 it's a 4150 chrome alley vandium it's not chrome lined and the thing that really bugs me about this barrel is it is really shiny and i just don't like it you know it should be more of the the a-frame front sight color and also, when I grip this thing, I noticed these aren't round. Uh, they're not round. They're more of like an oval. You probably can't pick that up on camera, but yeah, it just doesn't feel right in my hands. And I was going to do just uh, some regular A2 grips or hand guards to, to kind of bring it back to what I wanted and do a carry handle, but I actually am trading this thing off for, uh, for an A-Rex Rex 01S. Uh, in a couple days so I don't know this thing's going bye bye uh, haven't even shot it yet but uh, the stock it feels pretty good uh, it had crazy amount of Loctite and after two failed attempts to get this thing flush I went out stripped the red Loctite off it and put some blue on and it cranked in right and uh, it mats up well th th there's no wobble in this thing and it, it does have a metal plunger in it and uh, everything else is plastic but a lot of people say they have trouble finding a metal plunger this thing's a pain in the dick though like all of them uh, it has the white uh, white interior on it for your, carry, uh, for your cleaning kit a lot of them have yellow but this one's white and it is uh, pretty much plastic. 
and uh, regular charging handle. I got this off one of my Diamondbacks, but do the interior. So the inside, it's not milled out. It has the extra webbing here for, uh, you know, it would be for a sear, but you know, you're really not going to have a sear on this gun <laughs> unless you want to register it and if you're in a cool state, but I'm not. I'm in a shit state called Illinois. But uh, the milling's done really well. It does have a rifle uh, bolt, or bolt. It does have a full rifle buffer. And uh, it's done well. I mean, if you guys are looking for a cheaper uh, rifle build, I wouldn't hesitate on PSA, especially for, I just had parts laying around and uh, finished it up. So about 410 in this thing without the bolt carrier. So you're looking at what, 500, 550 for a, for a complete rifle. And uh, you know, a lot of guys don't have too many complaints on them, but I'll never know. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll build one for my kid, but he's too young now anyway. I was thinking about keeping this, but he's only nine months. So he's got a couple more years before I start taking him out shooting. And it's going to be 22. It's not going to be a 20-inch AR. And uh, what else? So, yeah, it does have a bayonet lug. It is F-marked. And, uh, you know, sling swivels. But uh, any more questions, anything else you want me to go over on the next video, if I compare this to the Colt, let me know.